<laughs> Are you dreaming of your posse? Hi, Riot. Are you going back to sleep? show everyone how you use your potty because you're always full of wee wee in the morning aren't you welcome back to the channel i'm richie this is ashley and this is baby reen who's yapping away here while we're trying to do this video but that's what he does because he's a newborn so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly how we do elimination communication with our newborn son reen in the next clip, you're going to see baby Rian wake up first thing in the morning and I take off his cloth nappy because straight away he has to pee after the night. I wasn't quick enough, as you'll see, and there was an accident, but luckily we have the puddle pad. What Rian likes to do first thing in the morning is go on his potty. He'd be full of wee-wees from the night. Oh, we'll sort of pop off his little cloth nappy. No, not too damp. So as you can see, Rian here is sleeping on a puddle pad. This helps to protect the mattress and if there is any water, it actually doesn't go through, doesn't soak through into the mattress or the sheet and it is able to just wipe it off. So, oh, nah, he's Rian onto the puddle bed. There you see. Good boy. So as you can see, it's not soaking through. We. We'll just wipe that away now with the cloth. Oh, he's weeing now. Shh. Oh, he's actually peeing again into the potty. So wake time is a key time to offer your baby the potty. This is when they're gonna be doing most of their elimination. So obviously first thing when they wake up, like yourself, you're gonna be offering them the potty. And also during the feeding time, and after are really key times that you want to be offering the potty. With the newborn, you have to understand that you're not going to possibly collect all of the peas, but you want to be catching as many as you can. So offering the potty at these key times when they're awake is going to really up the success of your elimination communication. And that's going to build your confidence with your newborn in wanting to do the elimination communication and to keep it going as a daily practice. So these are the cheeky wipes, they're very absorbent, they're cotton. So as you can see love, just dab that. And we're good to go. Good morning, you did two pee pees already. One on your puddle pad for the demonstration. And one into your top hat. So you have this top hat in between your legs so you can grip it and you can position him morning time is, is obviously like a time for a huge elimination like ourselves as adults babies are the same so if your baby's fussing on the top hat just position them around maybe they want to look at you who's my baba good morning show me that lovely smile hey hey oh he's got a lovely smile he's a lovely smile look at that hello my chief messer Who's my oh? Who's my chief messer? <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that another bum bum? Oh, that's a fantastic bum bum. Yeah. Don't get distracted by his smiles in the morning. Ah, oh, they're even though they're so cute and they can totally take you over because something might be changing. So you just need to be really aware of your baby and what's happening with the toilet whether they're going to go for a wee wee or a poo poo so you just need to be super aware of what's happening eh, eh, what's that noise? Is that another bum? <laughs> what's that another bum bum? that's fantastic Rian that's fantastic yes oh my love oh he's pooing yet good boy now Rian is doing his poop 
He likes to nurse and poop at the same time. Is that very relaxing? So in the next clip, you're going to see Rian make a noise for a poo. So he wants to do a poo and he lets out a big grunt. So what he does is he gives you these cues that you have to pick up on and then you have to get ready and you have to get him on the potty straight away. So he's got different cues for the wheeze and he's got different poos. <laughs> <laughs> it's now week five and we're already able to respond to his cues straight away. So it's just a matter of us responding to his cues, getting him on the potty and then he'll do his business. So. Oh. He says, don't be ignoring me. <clears throat> that's the sounds he makes. Oh, that's a fine, <clears throat> that's a pushing down sound. Now, will we sit you up? Oh, he's done loads of poo. Imagine that would have been in a, in a nappy going up your back and into your vest. So all the, the, the people call it poo nammies? Yeah. I think he's done. Will we bring you into the toilet and show everyone how we do the clean up? We're gonna clear you away, the poopy. So what to do with the poo and the wee? Initially, the poo is so small that you know, you're collecting it on the top hat. Oftentimes it was going on me because I was just learning all the cues. For the first two, three weeks, it's so small, it dissolves straight away, instantly. And then after that, it starts to accumulate and it doesn't go down the sink. So it's important <laughs> to push it down the, the toilet. And yeah, we've done that. <laughs> or the sink is like That's burr. the mistake we've made. So we've learned that. So that's it. Bit yeah. of a poo advice. Yeah. Okay, so I have boiling water now, uh, cleaning up the top hat. And I have three in, in my other arm and hand. So I'm just cleaning this out. And we're going to put in some hot water. Obviously, we're not going to use all that because it's going to be too hot. And then I use a little bit of cold water. That's a nice temperature. Then I get one of the cheeky wipes. So I have that hanging in the bathroom. And then I just give his little bum a clean. And we get all the poopy off the bum bum. No. Oh, he's the best boy. And just tell him what you're doing. So, Rian, we're cleaning up your bum bum now. Nice and clean after you're doing your poop. You did a fantastic job. Well done. And we're going to dry him off. Dry the bum bum. Time narrating what's happening. So, he's learning the, the language and also the energy of what you're um, describing to him. That it's a very positive experience and that we are really happy that he's used the potty and that his body is eliminating with either poo or pee and that it's a really natural experience and that we are really, really supportive of it. That was fantastic, Rian. Yeah. You should be so proud of yourself. That's it. That's the end of this episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope it gives you some tips for your elimination communication journey. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, Hit the subscribe button and the notification button and that means that you'll be the first to be notified for future videos in this Elimination Communication series. This is the second video in the Elimination Communication series. So if you want to watch our first video, which is how to potty train your newborn, click the link above this video and also in the description below and you can check that out. From myself, Richie, Ashley and Baby Rain. thanks so many for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, Rain, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away.